take a look at tonight's battle to see if things change. The Lions heading into this one 4-1 after a loss against Soxty last week. Dylan also 4-1 after a tough loss against Hartsville in week four. Dylan scores early in the first after going for it on fourth in 10. Wildcats up 7-0. Nothing. Loris had the chance to move down the field, but they lose hold of the ball and it's recovered by the Wildcats. Dylan's QB throws it deep. It's caught in the end zone. Wildcats up 14 nothing now. Another Loris fumble. And little mistakes have been the biggest killer for the Lions this season. They had more than 10 last week against Soxty. The Wildcats push the Lions against a the wall. They're forced to go for the field goal. They're finally on the board now, but a few possessions later and the Lions do figure out how to capitalize. They run it to the house and it's 14 10 and here's something crazy because the Lions actually came out on top in this one 30 to 27 absolutely balled out in that second half to break that streak. They had not beat Dylan since 1968, but that is no longer the case.